today we will be working on a simple distillation and separating a mixture of toluene and hexane. To start with, we are going to measure the empty masses of our distillation and collection flask. So our distillation flask is a 50 ml round bottom flask and the collection flask is a 25 ml round bottom flask. Let's weigh this out empty. We're going to tear the balance. That's the mass of the 25 ml round bottom flask. That's the mass of the 50 ml round bottom flask. We're using a hexane toluene mixture, 40 to 60 percent mixture. I will be adding 25 ml using a graduated cylinder. And add it to the 50 ml. round bottom. Record the mass of the round bottom flask with the 25 ml mixture. So now my mixture is ready. We are going to set up the glassware. You need a thermometer and a thermometer adapter and use some tap water as a lubricant and dip your thermometer to help you easily it into the adapter and if with twisting your thermometer will be inside the thermometer adapter. We will attach the distillation column with Tygon tubings. While doing this you can again dip it in some tap water which acts as a lubricant for easy attachment of the Tygon tubings into your distillation column. The same way I'm going to use the water to help me attach the Tygon tubing to the distillation column. We are going to attach a ring clamp onto the ring stand which will be for the mantle the mantle with the barrier. We need another ring stand for a clamp to hold on to the collection flask. Which is our 25 round bottom flask. You need a boiling stone into the 50 ml round bottom flask. And then we'll have it clamped on the ring stand. The mantle will be sitting on a ring clamp and now we are bringing this down to have it sit onto the mantle. We'll start assembling the glassware. The distillation column goes on the three-way connector and this is a good spot to put your keg clamp. If you see the keg clamp, it has a smaller neck on the top, wider neck on the bottom. So when you attach it here, it goes the same way. The smaller neck goes on the narrower end and the wider neck goes on the distillation column. You will be attaching your vacuum adapter at the end of the distillation column. And we can again put a keg clamp. The narrow end goes onto the distillation column and the wider one goes onto the vacuum adapter. Now we are ready to clamp our collection flask onto the vacuum adapter. We have the thermometer adapter which is now going to go on top of the three-way connector over here. The down one would be our water inlet. Go ahead and connect this to the water connection. And the top one right here, it is your outlet. So this goes into the sink. Now it's time to turn on the water. Make 
make sure the outlet has a good flow before you start heating the mantle. Turn on your variette and put the variette between 70 to 80 percent. And now we wait for the distillation to start. Once you start heating, it's a good idea to feel if the mantle is heating up. Sometimes if the mantle or the variac is broken, you may be waiting for too long and there's no heating going on. So make sure your mantle is working once you turn on the heating. see the mixture has started boiling and we have started collecting in the collection flask. Right now the temperature is around 70 degrees Celsius which is boiling point of hexane which is the more volatile component. is going past 80 we're going to turn off the heating and lower the mantle we will unclamp the collection flask and wait out and we will wait for our 50 ml round bottom flask to cool off before we can weigh it going to slowly Assemble the glassware. Now we can go ahead and weigh both our brown bottom flask. Let's weigh the distillate with the 25 ml round bottom flask. This has a boiling stone which we did not start with. We have to take it out before we can weigh it. So I'm going to take out the boiling stone with the tweezer. And now weigh the remaining liquid with the 50 ml brown bottom flask. Once done, you can combine these two liquid in a mixture and put it back in the beaker you got it from. Since it's a mixture, it can be reused. Sure, we can reuse it. We were able to accomplish simple distillation of a hexane toluene mixture. I have put up all the masses that we measured in the white bowl. So starting with, it, this is the empty mass of the 50 ml round bottom flask and this is the round bottom flask with the mixture. So if you subtract from the 
from these two, you should be able to get the mass of the mixture you start with, which is A plus B mixture, grams. And once the distillation was over, the 50 ml round bottom flask weighed 57.47 grams. So if you subtract the empty mass, which is this, from this, you would be able to get the mass of the remaining, you will be able to get the mass of the remaining liquid, which is B. So if you do a 57.47. So with this part, the empty mass of the 25 ml round bottom is here, and this is after the distillation. So if you subtract these two, you will be able to get the grams of A, which is the mass of the distillate. With these two numbers, which is the grams of A and grams of B, and the starting mixture, which is A plus B, you should be able to find the mass percent of A and mass percent of B. So mass percent of A would be A grams over the total mixture you started with times 100, and mass percent of B would be B grams divided by the total grams of mixture you started with times 100. This should give you the mass percent of A and B, which is hexane and toluene after distillation. Thank you.